when we graph the lines, it looks something like this, but what's different now? It's greater or equal less than 4. Okay, now let me go back to something we've done before. Here's my number line. If I say x is equal to 3, what do I do? What do I do? Mark it on the 3. I draw a dot on 3, right? Well, if I change that to x is less than or equal to 3, then you put the dot on the 3 and go to the left. To the left, which means there's a boundary and there's shading. Do you see that? There's a boundary and there's shading. What happens if I take away the equals? I make the circle open to indicate that my I can't actually be on my boundary. I can just come next to it. Okay. Same idea here, except for what's our boundary? This here, our boundary is a point. What's our boundary now? The line. Our, our, our the lines are going to be our boundaries. So the first thing we need to do is draw the boundary. Do you notice the first thing we did, did on that wasn't to shade; it was to draw the Boundary. The boundary, the point, right? We're going to draw. So what we're going to do is do it like we normally do. We're in, in essence, what we're doing right now is pretending this is equal. That's what we're sort of pretending. We not we want to know where the boundary is. That's where it's equal. So let's uh, do this. Zero, zero. If x is zero, I have negative two y equals four. Y is negative two. Negative two. If y is zero, I have x equals four. So we graph those two points, 0, negative 2, 4, 0. So there's our line. Well, this is from previous lessons. There's only two extra ideas today. The first one is on our number line, we had a choice between a solid dot and a Open dot. An open dot. Uh, here we have the choice between a solid line and a dashed line. Solid means it's there. Dashed means it's the boundary, but you can't go on it. So what is this? Can you actually be equal to 4? No. no, you can't be on your boundary, so this is dashed. And Sometimes this happens, especially on tests. Say you draw your line, you're like, oh, snap, I forgot to dash it. And you know, I just did it in pen. Well, if you, if you did it like that, then maybe you can like put in little uh, blocks. <laughs> or on the test, honestly, I'll take this. If you forget and you wrote it in pen, just draw an arrow to it and be like, this is supposed to be dashed. <laughs> but I, because I have a whiteboard, I just do this. So I can I can dash it pretty easily. All right. All right. So again, the first thing that you did on the other ones was to draw the boundary. We're drawing the boundary, and then you had to decide: is that boundary? Can I go on that boundary? Is it solid? Can I not go on that boundary? In this case, is it open? It would be open. In this case, it would be dashed. It can't be on the boundary. And then on a number line, when we did inequalities, you shaded one side. How many sides are there to this line? One. How many sides? Two. How many sides of the line? Two. There are two sides to the, of, of the line. The line splits the plane uh, into two pieces. Okay. So we're either going to shade on one side or the other side. And the way to do it, and, and there is no like quick, it's on the top, it's on the bottom because of this or something like that. Don't think that. You always should, the fail safe way to do it is to test one point. To test a point to see if it's true there. What's the easiest point in the world to do testing? Zero zero. Zero, zero. zero, zero. Now, this is very key. You cannot test the point if it's on the line. Because if you test it and it's true, do you know which side you should be on? Because no. it's on the middle. So if I, I need it to be distinctly on one side or the other. Make sure it's distinct. So is zero zero obviously on one side? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm just kidding. 
of the line. So if yes. it runs through zero, then you can use it. If it runs through zero, zero, you cannot use zero, zero. You've got to use something else. So but one then one in one. that case, maybe use one, one. And if it happens to run through one, one, you then, use, man, you're, you're going to have to use numbers like two, five. Oh, my gosh. Those are so such hard numbers. Ooh. Why don't you use, like, two, what if I had to use seven? <laughs> well, if it was zero, zero, and one, one, two, two, would be on the line, too. Two negative five would not be on that line. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to test this point. This point is zero, zero. So I'm going to plug it in. If x is zero, minus what happens to that if that's zero, if y is zero? Zero, is that less than four? This is true. Right here is true. And the place you shade is where it's true. You indicate the place where it can be. Not where it can't be, you indicate where it can be by shading. I think I've done this before sometime. Yeah. 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 What? I don't understand. What part? Mm -hmm. so like, what do I you picked any point that's not on the line. And usually zero, zero is the easiest numbers to use. Okay, so we pick zero, zero. And you throw it into your inequality. So it changes the x and y to zero? Yes. And then how do you know it's true? If it's is zero, zero minus zero, zero minus zero, zero, is that less than four? Yeah. Yeah, so it's true. So if the line on the other side would be the other side of we'll the We'll do another example. Okay. okay. You shade the sides, it's true. When you test it, Hey guys, when you test it, you always shade the side that's true. So if you get true, you shade that side. But if you test it and it's false, what do you do? Shade the other side. Shade the other side. Okay. Yeah. Oh.